In 3.2 writing electron configuration of atom, we are going to learn how to write the addresses of electrons inside atoms. There are three subtopics in this part. First, you have to learn a new word called valence. It means the highest or energy level electrons in an atom. Instead of highest, you can think of the last energy level filled by electrons. We will also look at um, how to find um, the valence electron number, the valence shell, the energy level where the valence electrons live, and the valence orbital, the orbitals or the valence subshell where these valence electrons live uh, for a given element uh, in the periodic table. Second, we will look at the order in which electrons fill from lowest to highest energy using the Aufbau electron filling order diagram. And finally, we will learn how to write electron addresses or configurations in three different ways. Uh, first is the regular electron configuration and then the noble gas notation. The former is longer than the latter. And then uh, orbital diagrams where you show electron uh, orbitals as boxes and electrons as arrows. First, let's uh, look at uh, what we learned in the previous lesson 3.1. Um, if we draw an atom using the Bohr model, in the center you have the nucleus and the nucleus is here. And uh, you have concentric spheres, uh, energy levels 1 through 7. Uh, N equals 4 is energy level 4. Upwards, you have 4 um sub subshells s p d and f recurring just like energy level four since there are nine sorry 16 uh, orbitals you can have a total of 16 times 232 electrons in each shell above uh, energy level four and then Let's look at um, how electrons fill in these. So energy level 1 has only an S subshell. You can have two electrons as I've shown here. Energy level 2, uh, first the two S electrons fill followed by the six uh, P orbitals electrons. Um, then in the next energy level, N equals 3, you have two S electrons followed by 6p electrons followed by 10d electrons. In this diagram, I have only three electrons filling in the last energy level. In this atom, the valence shell is n equals 4. And um, it has four, three electrons. Any electron that fill in that energy level is called a valence electron. So there are three valence electrons in here. Okay, and so just to remind you, each of these can have two electrons and each shape will have two electrons. Okay, um, let's look at how valence electrons uh, are shown in the periodic table. These electrons are very important because chemical reactions occur when valence electrons get exchanged by atoms. So the location on the periodic table tile encodes lots of information about the electrons of that element. So the periodic table is arranged to show this information. Number one, the rows um, shown here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They indicate the seven possible energy levels of an atom, starting from the one closest to the nucleus. And these show the valence shell of an electron. For example, if you have an atom here, 
its valence shell is energy level uh, here energy level four uh, secondly there are four blocks based on the subshells electrons fill and their orbitals uh, so if you have electrons filling in s orbitals uh, you have uh, a s block you're placed in s block if you have electrons valence electrons filling d orbitals you are in d block if your valence electrons fill in p block you have uh, you are located there if your valence electrons fill f block you are in the f block and s block has two columns to signify the two possible maximum electrons d block you have from 3 to 12 is 9 uh, sorry 10 electrons to show the 10 possible electrons that you can fill in all the orbitals and p has six electrons which are the total maximum you can fill and f block you have 14 rows within the f block to show the 14 total electrons you can fill in this way the periodic table shows the valence shell by the row number the uh, block shows which orbitals the valence electrons fill and the number of electrons in that orbital shows how many electrons are in that orbital so let's quickly check out some uh, examples for practice so if you look at this element it's in one two three four five six seven row seventh row uh, so seven that means it's in energy level seven and this is s block s1 and s2 column so it has two electrons in um, the seventh energy level s subshell so its electron configuration will be 7s2 and then this element it has 5 1 2 3 4 5 valence electrons in uh, n equals 5 because this is um, energy level 4 and energy level 5 f subshell this one you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons in this is 3D, 4D, uh, n equals four. And this guy has two electrons. This column is one, this is two in the 2P, 3P, 4P, 5P uh, energy level, five energy level. I hope you go over this and practice again. Okay, now let's look at the Aufbau electron filling order diagram. So you are going to draw um, this on in your notebook. Draw these four columns and divide it into seven rows. And write 1s, 2s, uh, two, uh, 3s, 4s, up to 7s in the first column. Uh, starting in energy level 2 you see p 2p and all all the way up to 7p starting energy level 3 you see 4 3d all the way up to 4d starting energy level 4 you see 4f all the way up to 7f and then um off -bow electron filling order states that when electrons fill an atom lowest energy level orbitals fill first so here's please look at the electron configuration notation also as i fill these uh, electrons the first number is showing the energy level of the shell where the electrons fill and the middle uh, symbol is showing the alphabet letter of the subshell occupied by the electrons and after that alphabet letter there's a superscript top letter showing the number of electrons total in that subshell so we filled 1s then we filled 2s then we filled 2p 3s 
and I put the total maximum number of electrons possible in S is 2, P is 6, 3P, 6, 4S, 2, 3D, 10, 4P, 6, 5S, 2, 4D, 10, 5P, 6, 3S, 2, 6S, 2, 4F, 14, 5D9, I stopped here, but you can go to 5D9, here we go, 5D10, uh, 6P6, and 7S2, followed by 5F14, 6D10, 7P6, 6F14, 7D10, Ten and seven F fourteen, but say you are given um, asked to write the electron configuration for an atom with seventy nine electrons, then you're going to draw this diagram and uh, fill out the top numbers like one S two, two S two, until the top numbers all add up to seventeen. You take electrons out from the leftmost one, so this would be five D ten. Since you only need 79, not 80, up to here is 80, 5D10, you take one out of there. So the total electrons, when you count these top numbers, adds up to 79. You can find who this element is because you're going to say the number of electrons is equal to number of protons in neutral atoms. So you can find this element. Um, this will be gold, if we go to the next page, uh, here is gold, it's in 3, 4, 5, D, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ninth uh, column, so it has 9 electrons in the 5 energy level, D subshell. Finally, let's la look at the three ways of writing electron configurations. An example here is oxygen. It has eight electrons. We only need the number of protons. If you have eight protons, you have eight electrons. So first, you're going to write the electron configuration. Instead of writing 2p6, you only need eight. So you're going to take off two electrons from the 2p6. Then you get 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and that is that. Then orbital notation, you write 1s2, 2s2, 2p, and then for each orbital, you're going to write a box. For 2p, you're going to join the orbitals together because they are in one subshell, and then you fill electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and here is a group of boxes. So first orbitals are shown in a box, energy level and sublevel are written under the box as a number and a lowercase letter. Electrons are shown by arrows and if you have two arrows in uh, one box they are opposite uh, orientations and subshells with multiple orbitals are shown as grouped boxes. Noble gas notation is much simpler. You are going to look at the nearest noble gas to this element. Um, so that would be helium. So you are going to replace this section with helium and write this remaining electron configuration after like this. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 became helium parenthesis 2s2, 2p6. So you always look at the um, noble gas that comes before the element. So um, for oxygen, we went with helium and noble gases are in energy level, the last energy level. So let's look at two questions. First, noble gas notation for gold, we did that earlier. So here's gold, and the noble gas that comes before it is xenon. 
so you're going to take take off 54 electrons from the front and that would end up giving us this much you're going to take this much out and replace it with xenon like that and then write the remaining electron configuration it's very straightforward um, if we want to look at um, another example um, look at chromium um, this one has uh, let's see, 10, uh, 20, 4 electrons, so that's chromium. Um, chromium, the noble gas that comes before it is argon. So you are going to write the noble gas notation will be argon, followed by this section, as I have shown over here. So um, please correct this. This is going to be argon followed by 4s2, 3d4. And then uh, the noble gas uh, notation, orbital notation. Uh, for the full one, you don't have orbital notation. That's noble gas. Would be, you're going to write this whole thing up to 3d4 like this. So here are some more orbital diagrams and noble gas notations for hydrogen to potassium. And I have given you the noble gas notation and electron configurations of some atoms. So here's N2 minus atom. It has gained two electrons. So it has two more electrons filling in the last share energy level. Um, P subshell more than the um, normal at neutral atom. And then K plus potassium plus it has one less electron than its original counterpart. And please pause this and look at these carefully. And of quick summary so valence is the last energy level filled by electrons um, the location of the element in the periodic table states the valence shell from the row number the valence subshell from the block uh, and the number of valence electrons from the group or column number starting from the beginning of that uh, block and then Aufbau electron filling order diagram shows how electrons fill the lowest energy level orbitals first and then go into high energy orbitals. C electron configuration notation shows three ways of writing addresses of electrons in an atom. The regular notation is very long and comprehensive. Noble gas notation is short and sweet. You replace the first a couple of elements with the nearest noble gas that comes before your element. Then in orbital diagrams we use uh, boxes and arrows to represent orbitals and electrons in their uh, diametrically opposed position. And that is it. I will see you in the next video. Please review the notes and do the exit tickets. Thanks.